हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस बिकॉज वन सम ऑफ डिफरेंसेस ऑफ ऑल पेयर्स नाउ मास चीटिंग इंटायर प्रूफ इफ यू आर डीमोटिवेटेड नाउ द एंटायर प्रूफ फॉर मास चीटिंग विल बी डाउन बिलो इन दिस शॉट कैन जस्ट गो एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब अवर न्यू चैनल बट या इन दिस वी वॉन्ट सी दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सिंपली सेज दैट वी आर गिवन एन आर ए कॉल्ड एज नम्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स वेयर ऑल इंटीजर्स हैव द सेम नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स as you can see they have two digits two digits two digits so whatsoever elements or numbers we will have they have the equal number of digits and we can easily see that my nums of i is 1 e 9 so at max i can have 9 or 10 digits cool cool okay now uh, the digit difference between two integers is the count of different digits that are in the same position in that integer what it means is that again I'll complete the statement first. We have to return the sum of digit differences between all the pairs. Ultimately, it says you have one number. Go and try for all the pairs. Okay, for this, I will go and try for one pair as thirteen twenty three. Other pair as thirteen twelve. Now, okay, go to next. Next pair will be twenty three twelve. And that's it. So roughly, I can say I will have n square pairs for every pair. What is the answer? For every pair, the answer is corresponding place. Okay, let's remove all this. For the corresponding place, if they are different, okay, I will add a one. Okay, they are same, nothing. So for this pair, the score is one. If I take the other pair, which is thirteen and twelve, as you can see, this is same. Okay, ignore this. I will compare three and two. They are not same. Okay, one as a score for it. Okay, what if the other pair, twenty three and twelve? As you can see, two and one not same. Okay, one, three and two not same. Okay, one. So score is two. For all the pairs, I just have to add the summation, which is the total sum will be four, and that is the answer. Now, for sure, uh, I know my n is actually one e five. I cannot try for all the n square pairs. Although uh, one thing is very normal that after trying for a pair, finding out this answer will be very easy. Will be very easy. Let's see how find out the answer will be very easy. Simply, if I just ask you randomly, if you have a four-digit number again, consider this is one pair. This is one pair of numbers. Here I have six, two, three, four. Here you just have to compare. If this digit is same, okay, no addition. If it is different, then an addition. If it is five, then I will add a one. Okay. I will compare the next digit with the next digit. If it is two, nothing addition. If it is different, it is zero, one, three, four, and so on and so forth. Then I will add something. Let's say if it is two, I will add nothing. Okay, compare this with this. If it is same, nothing. If it is different, if it is four, okay, add a one. Again, if it is same, add nothing. If it is different, if if it is same, okay, add nothing. So you realize you are actually comparing digit by digit. You are not compared about okay, what is the remaining number? What is the remaining number? Nah. You are only concerned about for a specific digit. I am concerned only about the specific digit at that location only. So if I put the indexes, I know that all of the numbers will have the same length. So I know all will have a length of four. Imagine all will have a length of four. I just have to make sure again, and I know that this is one pair which I added the contribution. I will have the next pair. For that next pair also, I will simply add the contribution. So it is indeed. If if I ask you, I am just adding the contribution. That's it, right? It is for the one group. It is for the next group. Or I can say I can. Okay, what if this was again? I have written a one zero one zero, right? So what if this is five? Again, this is two. This is four. This is four. So again, one zero one zero for this pair also. Now, if I ask you. The same you would have gone and tried to do for every of these pairs. If I just transform this by saying that okay, for the first digit, go and only compare for the first first digit of every number. So let's let's number let's number them. Let's index zero one two three zero again zero one two three again zero one two three. Let's simply compare the third third index six. If I have a six, uh, how many how many such numbers are there who don't have a six? Okay, I have two numbers, so contribution will be two for this digit for the third. 
ओके नाउ गो एंड डू द सेम थिंग फॉर सेकेंड डिजिट सेम थिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट डिजिट सेम थिंग फॉर द जीरो डिजिट नाउ वेन दिस इज डन अगेन यू विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर हैव फाइव हाउ मेनी द नंबर्स आर देयर हु आर नॉट सेम एज फाइव ओके आई विल से आई हैव ओनली वन विच इज सिक्स बट आर एन ओके 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 ओनली वन ऑफ द नंबर्स अगेन यू सी दैट आई एम कंपेयरिंग नाउ द डिजिट सेट सेल्फ विद रेस्ट ऑफ द नंबर्स बट स्टिल यू विल से आर एन इट विल स्टिल ओफ एन स्क्वायर करेक्ट कैन वी डू समथिंग we simply say we are adding the contribution and we just ultimately want one fact that for a specific digit how many of the numbers are there which are not a 6 so how about if i maintain at the index 3 at the index 3 what is the count of 6 so i will maintain a map by saying at the index of 3 what is the count of 6 it will say 2 at the index 3 what is the count of 5 it will say 2 as you can see 2 5 and 5 and that's it for other for the index 3 the count of 0 is 0 for the count of 1 is 0 for the count of 2 is 0 and so on and so forth at the index 3 i am saying how this will help me this will help me by simply saying if i am at a specific location i am at this index right so i will say what's the contribution I will not go anywhere. I will not go anywhere. Keeping staying at this index itself, I will say the contribution will be. I know in total, in total, the numbers at this digit, at the third digit, the number, the numbers can be n because I know I have n numbers. I have total n numbers. So I know in total the numbers are n, but I know the contribution will be. someone which is not a 6 so i will subtract the count of at this digit at this location 6 so at this location third location i will say remove the count of 6 whatsoever is remaining whatsoever is remaining will actually contribute by saying i am something else than that of 6 so you re- so you so you realize one thing by simply this pre computation at a specific index 3 for every digit again these can be at max 10 digits from 0 to 9 right 0 to 9 i realized for a specific index 3 i can compute this entire stuff after computing this i can easily get the contribution of one digit which i was getting this contribution as 1 and then i was comparing this with this and then i was comparing this with this so this is one for this this is one for this so i just added the contribution and say okay n is 4 map is 2 so answer is 2 so contribution of this and this which which which, which i was earlier counting separately now i can add the contribution alone so that's how i can simply go and do the same stuff for every firstly index for again for this index 2 i will maintain okay for the map of index 2 digit is 2 count is 1 2 3 count is 3 again let's say here i have 1 imagine so it will say map of 2 which means index of 2 count of 1 will be 1 and again for the remaining ones by default i can keep a by default count of 0 so for the other other ones now if i want to ask its contribution he will say bro my contribution is that i know i have in total n numbers I don't want to have at that specific index two. I don't want to have a two. So I'll remove the count. I know n is four. I have the two. I have the two count as a three at the index two. So I will get one, which means one different, which will actually contribute to my answer. So this will add a one. But you will say, "Aryan, okay. Uh, what if, what if you are trying for this specific number? Because you are saying that you will go on to each digit of every number to get its contribution, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I am exactly saying that itself. When you are at this specific, this specific digit, and you are asking its contribution, he will say, "Bro, I will apply the same formula as you have been applying earlier. I will say it will be n minus map of at the index three." I just should remove the contribution of five, as in how many fives are there at this location. So he will say, in 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 total I have four numbers. I will simply remove the contribution of five. Five is two times. So answer is two. You can also see 
at this index 3, apart from 5, I have two other numbers, which is 6 and 6 here. But, 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 isn't it repetitive? Which means this pair you have already counted. Again, you are counting this pair. Yeah, that is one thing, which, which means that what you are ultimately doing is, let's say if you remembered, you have these four numbers. So, you actually had to find these pairs. As you can see, this, 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 and then this one, and then this one, and then ultimately this one. But because of the current, because of the current thing, what you might end up computing is, again, let's erase this. This will compute, this will compute, this will compute. But then, for this, you will compute this also, this also, and then this also. So, you can easily see that this and this are actually repeated. And again, for this point, if let's take, let's change the color. For this point, it will go forward. That's okay. It will go back also here and here, which ultimately, as you can see, if I just erase this. So for this forward, I have this backward. For this forward, I have this backward. So for every forward, I'm actually having a backward also. So ultimately, whatsoever count you keep on adding up. Just simply key, just simply keep on adding up but ultimately also remember in the end that you have duplicate stuff so simply whatsoever count you have got divide that by two to get your answer cool and that is your ultimate strategy with this you are going on to each digit exactly once and have done a simple pre-computation of maintaining the frequency at every step maintaining the frequency of every digit at a specific index Let's see the code. It's again uh, same way that firstly I went on to all of my numbers. Again, I will represent my numbers. Let's say I have these four numbers, right? Having four, four digits, having four, four digits. So right now I'm saying I'm going on to all the numbers. So this is one element. This is one element. This is one element. This is one element. Now I know that I this I'll call this function with one element. This is one number itself. It will go and call this one number and it will firstly again to make it simple i have converted to a string right i converted this specific number to a string now this is a string and then i iterated on this string to the string size whatever string size is there and for every index for that specific character i will increase the frequency which means if the if the string is six two five three i know the index is zero one two and three if I do a zero based indexing, I will very easily know that at the index zero, the contribution of six, obviously the count of six have increased by one. If I repeat a six here again, it will again at the index of zero, the, the count of six will increase by one more. So index, the count of that specific digit will increase by one just to maintain at every index. What is the count of digits? It's a count of digits. Ultimately, I can simply re return because this is a global map which is being maintained for every index for that specific character or you can say a digit in our case what is the count what is the count or the frequency now when this pre-computation is done i can now easily go on to ask the contribution of every digit so i will go on to all my elements which means these elements on every element i will go on to all of their digits which means characters because i've converted to a string and then for a specific character C, I will ask its contribution. Its contribution will be N minus its own frequency. N by N because I know I will have N. These are N specific. These are N specific numbers. I have N numbers. If I have repeated 6 twice, so remaining, again let's say 6 is repeated thrice. So remaining which is N minus 3 will be my numbers that are different, different than that of 6. And that is saying for the specific character, I have these my number of numbers which are different than that of character C. And that I will keep on adding in my answer. Ultimately, make sure to divide my answer by two because I have repeated stuff. And ultimately, this is the answer. Again, uh, time, you are just simply going on to all the numbers. And for every number, you know that, yeah, for every number, you know that your number length, this is for, you have n numbers. You have n numbers n numbers, 25 numbers, but for every number, you have a length of at max 10, at max 10. So at max 10. And same way, I will simply say that, okay, as I, I can simply see that I will maintain a map for every index for every number. So it is the same way saying every index, 
index at max i can have 10 indexes for a specific number element character how much i can have i can have at max 10 characters and count is the value so space will be used is 10 in 10 and again there is no space used here the space only used here is an ordered map which is of 10 to 10 again here also i have used no space as such so the space here will be o of 10 into 10 that is again a constant space and this is your most optimal answer cool i hope you guys got it again if you have got a very like not a good rank i highly encourage go and watch this video to see what's the reality and you are not only the one who is actually having like who's actually only getting the lesser ranks it's people who are cheating and not you bye bye take care